Oh man, more mira mirages. Um, a behemoth? This one's not very cute. Oh no, strange, rare, and usually very dangerous mirages. If you want to explore one, make sure you're fully prepared. Oh, I don't think we're prepared for this. I don't think we're prepared for this. Run! You're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. Um, I don't, I don't think we're ready for this. Five damage. Well, th that was good, right? Counter? What? No, Chaz! Oh no! My Nuzlocke challenge is over already! The party has fallen. Now what I'm gonna do? Game over. What? Uh. Oh no. Did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... No way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage in the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then to whisk you to safety. Although... It the cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh! But just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Or the yeah. And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 death mechanics. So we didn't really die. Also, uh, because uh, if things are staged, I'm gonna say this: if if we're doing the Nuzlocke challenge, if death is staged, like you have to die in a in a in a battle just like then, because forced to. I I'm gonna say it doesn't really count towards having to, uh... It doesn't really count. Cause, I mean, how was I not supposed to get a game over? T hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience away. crossing between Would planes. I don't know. I'm I'm still I'm still kind of deciding. I guess really it's just like let's see how long it can go without dying. But I'm definitely gonna go with the first so, rule of the Nuzlocke, which is only capture. I can only capture one uh, one mirage per per area. So. I'm definitely going with at least half a Nuzlocke challenge. That that is for certain. Oh wow, she's so tiny. Is she a uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocoboco Lina! Oh. <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm. Uh, good, more or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? 
Oh, you can call me Choco Latte. Hmm. I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right. Care to shop? I've got the goods. Choco Boko Ching. She reminds me of Chocobo Kalina from Final Fantasy XIII too, which I played, which I played very briefly. But at the same time, uh, Chocolate. Uh, she she's basically the store merchant. We purchase all our items from her, which is, a, I guess, it is a throwback to XIII too. That's fine. I don't really need items. Slow down. What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco connection. She's our only Choco connection slash store merchant. Different than usual. Don't be silly. I just decided to settle down. Welcome to the Choco Latte Mart. Actually, I, I guess I should kind of like uh, browse through the selections here. Um, so she has a lot of interesting things. Namely, she's got these uh, stats affecting items, which aren't necessarily a bad thing to get. Sometimes you'll need to inflict certain stats effects to capture mirages. Other times, you'll, uh, I don't know. Other, otherwise, like, she has, you know, like, a, things that are good for curing stats effects, or, you know, Phoenix Down, which is way too expensive for me at the moment. Uh, but, you know, I'll take a potion. Why not? I could use that. Especially if I'm trying to prevent all my party from dying. It's extremely crucial. Uh, that's about all I can do for the time being. So, hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? Mongering and uh, let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding. Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums, more than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacrow made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh, yeah. This prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. All right. So we got our uh, we got our PC for storing uh, prismariums. That's fine. So basically, anything we don't need, we can just throw into the prism case, I guess. And, you know, we can call her up. Uh, kind of handy, really, when you're kind of on the go and you don't really want to warp back any place because you're in a, a really long dungeon, so to speak. Also, we got a new, uh, we got a new little mirage. <laughs> Alright. I guess I will name... My mirage here. Uh, I gotta think of something. Give me a second. Let me think. If I was going to name you, what would I name you? Um. I don't really want to name you, no, 
remember. <sighs> You know what? You know what? I decided I'm gonna name them nothing. It's gonna be self, because I already got Tama from this place, so uh, I, I, I take it I shouldn't really even be using this. So, you know, that's fine. You're going, you're going in the PC. Besides, I need to, I need to show how that works, right? So I'm just I'm just gonna go to the prism case. I'm just gonna throw in self or self whatever. You're going you're going you're going. Let's see. I'm just gonna remove you. There we go. Gone. Also, talk with uh, Seraphie so here. Uh, I mean, boy, do I work hard. You got a thing on your head. Um, you seem to have something sitting on your head there. What's the deal with that? Huh? <laughs> How did that get there? You didn't even notice? <laughs> oh boy, what a doofus. Uh, have you checked your head? <sighs> How did that get there? Uh, uh, uh. Oh boy, what a doofus. Both of you are doofuses! Hey, the word is doofy! Here, I'm giving you this, so let's just move on. Uh, thank you. But what is this for? The truth is... <sighs> I haven't the foggiest. <laughs> I guess when I go out for a walk, stuff just finds its way onto my head. Well, from now on, whenever you see some thingamabob parked on my noodle, you just go ahead and help yourselves. Woo! I got an ether. That's great for uh, recovering AP or stuff. Anyways, point is not. He is in charge of taking the care of your prismariums. Great, great. All that not important. Point is, I'm uh, I'm going back, cause uh, yeah, there's not really a whole lot I really need to do, is there? I think we, I think we. I've done everything. This is like a short little intermission before we go back into the real heart of the game. Get more mirages, which I don't know. Because I got Chaz, I don't think that's really much of an option. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphie guarantee. Huh? But, but where are you going now? Oh, well. Somewhere what else, of course. Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? I you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire. And light vanishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science. Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> bye, Hasta bye, la vista. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's an crow for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pretty the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Woo! I can speed up conversations! <laughs> okay, so we met God. 
I don't really want to abandon any sort of thing. But this is a good place to stop. So, yeah, you know, uh, been kind of slow the past couple parts, but at the same time, I feel like we've really started to understand how things work, and we can really start just focusing on the plot, which, you know, it it's very anime-esque, very cliched anime-esque. So, not your cup of tea. You probably aren't interested in this whole entire Let's Play, but that's fine. You go... You go do something else. I have plenty of other Let's Plays that probably fit your interest a lot better if you want to stick around on my channel, which is fine. Otherwise, I don't know, go do something else. This is YouTube. There's plenty of things to do. It doesn't matter. I'm only one part of it, a very, very small part. But that, I don't even care. Point is, um, well, in Final Fantasy, we get into the more exciting stuff, like actually starting to create stacks, like actual stacks. Yeah.